How's it going, gamers? Another day, another video. And this one I'm going to be talking about, Sniper 3, Ghost Warrior. Um, so yeah, th this is obviously the third in the series, and it really is a good game. Uh, the first one I really enjoyed, possibly more than the second one, because it was, you know, the first time we'd seen anything like that when it came to, like, long-range games. Um, being able to, you know, take advantage of um, your wind, your range, uh, using a suppressor, not using a suppressor, things like that. It played a major, major role in this uh, series. This one's no exception. The first one, like I say, was really good because of its atmospheric soundtrack, as well as its storyline and its mechanics. The second one was just as good, but the storyline to me was even better. You know, it drew you in even further into the game. This one is turning out to be just as good. Um, the way you've got to, you know, keep an eye on your sight, the suppressors, uh, balance out your equipment, this, that and the other. You can unlock loads of different types of um, ra sniper rifles themselves, assault rifles, pistols. There's a large variety for you to be able to unlock. You can do that by doing mission rewards or um, finding things around the actual uh, map themselves, special reward, cr reward crates. Uh, you've got your meds, you've got different types of gadgets you can um, equip and unlock. At the moment I can only equip four, but eventually you'll be able to equip six. Um, these are the gadgets I've unlocked so far. The only thing I've got to unlock, I think, is yeah, this section here. Which I can't wait for, to be honest. Um, you can also, instead of having to create these gadgets after you've used them, you can also loot um, some bodies, get different types of armor, and then you've got your drone as well. This is pretty naughty. You've got your workbench as well to be able to create your different types of ammo that you'll need for your weapons. You'll have some sniper rifles that use 7.62, others 0.338s. So you're uh, constantly being, having to uh, monitor your um, actual ammunition. Yeah, this is more of an open world game as well, which is really good. You've got your safe house here. I, I've got all my bits here that you've already seen. Also a bed. That heals me once I've rested and it also, you know, um, fast forwards the game to a specific time you want, whether it be a night or day. Uh, preferably for me, I love the night missions. You also have a vehicle as well to help you get you about, fast travelling. Um, you have these as well, points of interest. The only time you can really unlock one of these points of interest, it's not one of them where you go and recon the area with your drone or clear it out. You have to actually find like a little trinket in that area before you've unlocked its point of interest. You have like uh, wanted targets as well. These are wanted by um, Joint JSOC, which is like Joint Strategic Overwatch Command, I think that stands for. Um, so these are like real serious war criminals that the government wants taken right out. You have heavily, heavily guarded areas, um, lightly guarded areas as well. So you've always got to be on the lookout for these. Some of them are roadblocks, some of them are actual fortifications. Uh, communications relay outposts, so on and so forth. So, there's a large variety to this map, it's really, really good. Um, I'm guessing I've got to go over to this train station for my next mission, but the entire map itself is it's, it's based in um, Georgia, uh, in this region near Mining Town. I'm thinking there might be more than just this map, but I'm not banking on it. Still, at the end of the day, it's a good game. You have your skill section as well, which, to be honest, I've not even touched yet, and I should. So let's have a look what we've got. CCTV cone, vision cone is visible in scout mode. Not really one for using scout mode. Guess that'll do. And 
here you've got your bed here as well like I say you can rest fast forward time to any specific day night you want um, I think it's fine for me 12 o'clock at night like I say night ops seem to be the best for me so um, yeah I'll activate a mission and we'll get right into it uh, another thing this game has like um, quite a bit of free DLC now you can get two different um, s different types of uh, campaigns for two separate characters which are part of the storyline um, you also have multiplayer as well that comes with a variety of match mods um, like there's a bounty hunt there's um, standard team deathmatch uh, and something else I forget. I've, I'm only ranked two, but I'm pretty good at um, de uh, the multiplayer. Uh, we'll include some some footage of that in the video in a moment. But um, yeah, time to start a mission. Increased chatter about this rebuilt rail transport hub. Key strategic location to widen the separatist reach. Gives them agility and increased strength capacity. Any intel on that special payload they're expecting? No, just that it's a game changer. That's why we need you to infiltrate the yard and get the shipping benefit. We need to know who's shipping what and why. Damn. I was hoping for fireworks. Well, Intel says the Separatists have been stockpiling fuel in a load of on-site tanker cars. Enough to send the whole rail yard kaboom. Well, that would do in the fireworks department. All it takes is a single spark. And you, pal, are a fucking blowtorch. I'll do my best. Out. Yeah, the storyline, the dialogue and things like that is pretty heavy and dark. Uh, the area you're in. Um, it's the Badlands, basically. Um, the storyline, I don't really want to spoil too much, but it starts off as you as a kid. And, um, well, you're, you're basically getting ready to uh, deploy into Afghanistan. Your, your brother himself, he's like really young. Um, and then it fast forwards to when you're both actually in the military. Uh, you're both doing ops together, the start of the other for JSOC. And then um, something goes wrong, I don't want to spoil it too much, but yeah, you end up here alone and just basically you're ready to take out a lot of bad guys in these um, crazy different missions there. So yeah, at the moment I'm enjoying this. You can just drive around, you've got your radio, it feels a lot like Far Cry in that aspect, but obviously with it completely being based on... Uh, Infiltration, recon, and long range snipering, sharpshooting, whatever you want to call it, it feels um, slightly different as well. Yeah, some of the other things as well you can get for free off the PlayStation Store, you can get a buggy instead of this Jeep, um, switch all that over on your options, you can also get a, a new rifle as well as the DLC for free. There's a few other vehicles, bits and bats as well you can unlock for really cheap actually. Um, but it always helps if you've got like the season pass part of the game, get all that for free. Another thing as well, it comes in three different difficulties, you've got normal, then you've got um, hard mode which I'm playing it on now, and then you've got challenging. Um, each one increases not only the difficulty of the, of the AI, um, you know, and the spotting range, the toughness, things like that, and the tactics, and how many are probably deployed in a certain area, but it also limits your HUD and various other bits. Um, you do end up with like um, wind and distance as I said, so you've got to take all that into um, account. But one of the most annoying things I found was when you start holding your breath, you're given a sweet spot for where your actual bullet is going to end up. So I had to turn that off as well with a, a long, along with a lot of other assists, just to make it as authentic for me as I can. I do have my HUD with my weapon and you know, this, that and the other arm, but um, 
That'll all change once I start playing it on challenging mode. So this is the area. I'm gonna recon. One strange thing I did find about this game is it gives you a drone but it doesn't give you any binoculars or anything like that. They would help because your drone has like a limited battery range so on and so forth. It does help get a different angle and field of view of specific areas, bird's eye view, so on and so forth, different angles like I say. But still it, it doesn't seem to be able to seriously target people you've got within your range, like here you should tag now, but it's too far away. So that can be a slightly annoyance. The best thing about this game, though, is it's not all about actually entering an area and wiping everybody out. Um, you'll have certain missions. This one, I'm not too sure. It's just like infiltrate the depot at the moment. But others, it'll be just basically take one guy out. So you can infiltrate an area, shoot him from uh, quite a distance. Nobody spotted it. Nobody's heard anything. Just get out of the area. That's it. Mission complete. So it is pretty good like that. Yeah, you can use your drone not only to lure people, but like I say, you've got your vision mods as well. And you can also set waypoints, which are very, very handy. So I'll take it. I'm going to end up taking this sniper out. These two at the front entrance. This guard here in the guard tower. And then hopefully move on from there. So the wind is dead ahead, blowing towards me. I'm on site. Over. Good. The manifest should be in the main depot. I'm gonna try and take them out with some um, round ball. I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, 
Where is it? Trading gods. Let's get this guy out of the open. One thing I found that is actually best on this game is just basically scaving most of the enemies you come across. It can be a bit tedious once you've completed a mission having to run around and do it, but. is pretty much worth it. Like that's all we're gonna get there.
always get them games, you know, they have the uh, sniper mechanics where it's going to have bullet drop. Um, but this one's really unique with its windage and its resistance as well as, as distance. It, it really is unique like that. That's why I completely enjoy playing. guy we're doing between them trains there then. Windows push into the right. Camera in the area as well. No, it's not, it's a mortar. Okay, well, usually they're shattered, so I don't know what his problem is. Talk, or I break you. Our people are posted here. Oh. 
looks like we might have scouted out everyone who needed scouting out then. Got the manifest. Copy that. Now dump the fuel from those tanker cars. The pest was something round here or one. See what I mean by having to get a trinket. in the fuel. I've released the second valve. Things are going to get really hot once you light the fire. So be damn sure you're away from there when you strike the match.
bust upon that ridge. Took out the fuel tanks. I believe that guy spotted me. I'm gutted about that. We're in our stamina. percent accuracy so that's because I've got to shoot them tankers <laughs> still not too bad yeah so you'll end up with your sniper um, accuracy your ghost alerts and things like that as well as your warrior kills all that will start to accumulate uh, skill points that you can spend in them skill point menus you got loads of little side acts for this uh, as well as your man main campaign and like I say a lot of uh, places you might want to shipping from investigate and that. Yeah, I'm really enjoying. It. One of the heads um, of our double-headed right, snake. Let's get on to what yeah. the multiplayer is all about. David and Thomas, biggest, baddest separatist leaders, slithering around a lethal cell that should be named Camp Target Acquired. Right, so we're going to move on to some multiplayer now. Uh, I mean, you can have different lords out, different types of rifles, things like that, but it's a lot more restricted than it is. For the campaign, it's mainly down to basically long bangers. You can have assault rifles instead, or a shotgun. Then you've got your pistols. As far as I can gather, um, you can unlock a hell of a lot of camos, a couple of gadgets, things like that. Um, at the moment, I'm carrying my smoke. Um, this mod, Bounty Hunter, is different than um, Team Deathmatch. Team Deathmatch, you usually have a gap between you and your enemy, so you can't really get to each other. It's all about using your long bangers. But, um, where, what's going on? There's too many people on one side. It's three on our side, one on theirs, I'll switch teams. So yeah, um, with Bounty on the mod, you can literally get to each other's spawn points as well, which is a bit naughty. But the aim of the game is to uh, kill your enemy targets, you'll accumul accumulate credits, and then when you've got 8,000 credits, you have to deploy them at a certain point in the, the area of the map where these drones are. If you've got over 8,000, well, if you've got 8,000 or over, then your icon will start to appear on the minimap for enemy players, so you've got to be really careful of that. And it's until the time runs out, or until one team has managed to bag 80,000 credits, then that's how you end up getting it. Oh, check this guy out. I knew I could hear some. Wow. As if he's still standing. I'm sure I'm using my 44, uh, 45, 0.45 cal. Watch, the, watch me get murked now. <laughs> ah, I knew it. Five meter headshot. <laughs> what? So, yeah, it can be a bit brutal, this. Unfortunately, it can be a bit laggy as well. Um, it doesn't seem like the Euro the servers are all, you know, regional. It seems like it's, it's mixed matched. So you have got to be careful with it when it comes down to the lag. Um, other than that, I mean, it's all right. It handles well. Yeah, I knew I'd get you back. It handles well. Um, but I don't know. When it comes to multiplayer shooters, 
this isn't what I really, you know, I'll try and rely on to talk about a lag spike. Um, yeah, it is laggy, it is buggy. There's certain things that just let you down when it comes to it. Um, you've not got much when it comes to range for your scopes that I've found at the moment. But with it being multiplayer, I am getting to grips with it. Um, I am running into the same few faces, but I've not really invested a lot of time to see if this is, you know, a big thing that's being played. It's during the week at the moment, it's not exactly peak hours, so I'm thinking quite a few people will be playing this at the weekend. Um, I thought I'd end up getting ruined uh, with only having limited rifles, gadgets and this, that and the other, but just tactically thinking, being sneaky, so far that's managed to uh, help me out. Got to be careful here now. This is what I mean, the uh, $4,000 uh, I've accumulated, I want to try and dump that. Then it'll go into my team's bank, otherwise it'll just deplete if I die. It'll just disappear. Alright, I'm coming up to the enemy's team now. I really want to be careful here. It's all about sound. You've got to be wary of what everyone's two other people have joined as well. You've got to be really wary. Have you seen this? So I'm level 2, there's a level two level 1s on my team. A level 1 on theirs, and then the others are pretty, pretty good. That's, that's matchmaking for you. Another problem as well, I've been joining games, and it's been the last few minutes or seconds of the match, and then it'll just ditch you out of the lobby, and you'll have to search for another lobby. Alright, they literally spawn around here, these guys. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a med shot. Right, okay. So what that guy what was that guy using a fifty cal? He's gotta come here now. Footsteps. Come on, Lossa. Whoa, whoa. Do you think I've gone? I've just got a feeling I'm running around in circles and other guys doing the same way. Oh shite. Get some. See, shoot him a couple of times, he's down. That other guy, man, he took some heavy damage. Still managed to plug me point blank. I can hear somebody else now. these credits. Well, we're winning anyway, that's the main thing. Make sure no one's following me. Oh, I can hear someone up. Yeah, someone's followed me. Well, come on then. See some of that then, bro. Yeah. Mm. Someone's running around here. 
Risker, risker. Why? <sighs> Unbalanced team warning. People have just been bugging out from their side, haven't they? Sell ours. Yeah, apparently when this game was starting to be released, apparently there was a lot of issues with it mechanic-wise. So it really put me off playing the game. I mean, there was developers saying certain things. If I remember correctly, they were saying like, you know, it's hard for them to try and get the mechanics right. They weren't going to get it ready for the release date, and so on and so forth. Um, so, news like that, obviously, is going to put you off wanting to get a game like this. Um, I ended up getting it on disc. Uh, just borrowed it. And at the moment, they've got, like, updates that are, like, 25 gig. It, it took a while for me to download the update. So, so, obviously, something has gone wrong at one point with the mechanics, and they've had to patch it and patch it a few times. Now... For the campaign, it seems really accurate, smooth, so on and so forth. Multiplayer though, it does got its issues, um, but a lot of that's down to lag and where people are positioned around the world when they're playing each other. So, I'm just got to roll with it, I guess. They're firing from over here, someone's over here. Holy crap, that guy! Can you see me? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I thought I took some damage there. Simflex of blood. You wouldn't be happy with that. Come on. Where are you? Got a... Has he gone down there? Whoa. Gadgets. That's how they can see you then. They're using these nice trackers and stuff, right? Well, anyway, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button and don't forget you can subscribe to the channel for not for notifications from YouTube when our videos goes live. Thanks for watching and good gaming out there.